I mean, that is has always been the goal. The goal has always been Jake Paul. You know, that's the reason why I've come back into boxing to show everyone that Jake Paul is nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it could be Wembley Stadium. It could be any stadium here you know, in the UK. It's going to happen. You know, we're negotiating at the moment, and yeah, we're working on making sure it's one of the biggest fights of all time. And Kelly, you already peaked at millions of views for this whole mystic venture. How much more can you grow this? How many more people can you expand to? How much more can you take this? Well, I, I think that, you know, the, the, the beauty of it lies in consistency um, in whatever you do in, in sports programming. And um, if you look at now, the, I remember our first press conference for the O2. I was, I mean, I do a lot of press conferences every year, and I was so nervous because I didn't know anyone who was up there really. Yeah, I was like asking Mams, asking Jay, Jay, like, well, we'll tell me a bit about this one, that one. Mm. And now I look at a card, and that's all my notes, I don't do notes for press conferences. This, I've got the card up here, and I'm like, okay, that's a good file, oh, that's interesting. We were just discussing before. So I am I'm actually a great guinea pig, right? Because if you look at it, I, look, I can look and dissect this card. I can have a proper chat with you about this card now. Like, we don't need to do that. We can do that one on one. But what I'm saying is the more consistency, the, the future of this space of misfits, which provides a framework, a go to place, a safe place to, to conduct your trade. That's what it is. That is not rocket science, what we're doing. We're just doing it in a serious way, in a very wacky and very entertainingly unserious world. Uh, that's what it is. Um, and, you know, the likes of Ryan Taylor, you know, we know he is a tough, excuse the language, bastard, right? And we know he's going to bring it absolutely on to Swarms, who, you know, he, he came up against the, the best in this segment and, 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 you know, came up second best, obviously, on that night. But has he looked at that and, and, and adapted? And, and, but that's a very interesting fight for me. So the more we see it, the more the characters pop up. And those ones will be headlining events in the future. That's the beautiful thing about this. How's it going, JJ? How are you doing, Fred? So for all the kind of influencers out there, kind of celebrities, rappers, if you could pick three names in the world today to add to this bit of boxing, who would you add? <laughs> um, I mean, uh, hmm. it's funny, um, I hope he doesn't get annoyed that I said this, but Wayne Rooney hit me up being like, oh, we should fight, <laughs> and I said no, <laughs> I just don't want to do that. Um, I don't know, if, if Wayne Rooney is down, of course he can, I think it'd be good to have him in the space. I know Wayne Bridge is another person that's been interested in the space. Um, mm. Rooney's a decent boxer, he's the boxer mm? Rooney used to box a bit. Yeah, 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 no, I, I, yeah, I do know. Um, I think, I, well, I mean, for me, I've just got certain goals in mind and uh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe after Jake, if I feel like I want to do something after Jake, but we'll see. But, um, uh, what's his name? Who's the other, uh... Matt Hancock? <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, to be honest, I did see him on. Uh, you said politicians. That's all yeah, you yeah, but I don't know because I mean, if he's down, <laughs> if he's down, uh, <laughs> I'll send him a letter. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, 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 I don't know. I literally like with this space, it could be anyone. It could literally be anyone who anyone who wants to fight can fight. That's just what Misfits is, and uh, I think it's a space that's always growing, and uh, it's something that. You know, not even for me. I don't. I don't do it for money. I do it because I want to see how how much I can improve as a human being. I think for me, I just 
you know, I've said it before, but I, I kind of want to feel like how Goku does when he, this is the whole anime talk, but when Goku is able to constantly push barriers in his body and push his, you know, going to different Super Saiyans and just constantly pushing his body more and more. I feel like that's what's happening with me right now. Like I'm constantly getting PBs with my running and my weightlifting and my sparring. I'm able to do more and more rounds. I'm able to fight, you know, more than, you know, one person with my sparring. Like I'm fighting two people on rotation. Like it's just, I'm able to just constantly improve. And because I've just stayed dedicated and focused and disciplined, I'm able to just put myself in a, or put my body in a way, or in a, in a mode that I never thought I'd ever be in. And I, I, I love it. I think it's, it's sick, it's like, it's like a superpower. <laughs> and I don't know, maybe I'm a bit of a narcissist, but I do like love myself. And I love just being able to just improve myself. And that's why, you know, I had, uh, therapy because the idea of being able to control my mind and be like stronger than other people because I'm able to just understand why I think the way I think and why I do the way that why I do the things that I do and be able to constantly just just be better I, I just think it's amazing and yeah for me I just love it I just always just love being a better human being I think there's something beautiful in that do you think it's a kind of a self improvement that motivates you? I think that's it, yeah. I think for me, it's always just being able to improve myself and just. Because it's crazy. When I remember when I was a kid and I would do cross country and I hated it, I'd hate running. And I thought it was the worst thing ever. And I, you know, I'd always try and get to a point where I, the teachers wouldn't be able to see me and I'd try and take shortcuts and all of this and that. Whereas now I just love it. I love running and I love being able to beat my 5K or you know my 10k times uh, you know i love being able to beat my 400 meter sprint times i love being able to you know last longer you know do longer rounds in sparring and you know be able to not just fight one person in sparring but be able to fight two i love being able to just always be better and for me like i hate getting injured because i feel like it slows down my progress so i'm just a progress driven per per person and I think it gives me purpose. And I think for me, that's, that is it. That's what gives me purpose right now. Because, I mean, it's funny, you'll see in the dock, but in the dock, I definitely lost my purpose and I definitely lost my way a bit. And I felt very empty. Whereas now I just feel so fulfilled and so good about my life. And, you know, therapy has helped tremendously and also just having purpose in my life. So for me, you know, making sure I break, you know, Dylan, Dan Dylan Dennis's face in you know, January 14th, it's, it just, it's gonna give me so much joy. And then breaking the next person, and then the next person or whoever it is, and then eventually getting to Jake Paul and then destroying everything that he's built. I think it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> That's quite a mission statement. Yeah. And you beat me to the front cover of Men's Health as well. That was I'm sorry. Very, I was very, very <laughs> jealous of that one. Very jealous of that one. <laughs> but, I mean, you...